So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. So I'm just recording this on my mobile just because it's quicker and easier and not something I have to particularly edit because it's just a uh, showing of things and because I've got my hand temporarily back in my brace and stuff and obviously it's still getting better so I'm going to be in and out of the brace in the meantime whilst it's um, improving um, because I'm now sort of at the point where I can sort of go in and out of the brace a bit and so I'm trying to sort of I guess it's definitely improving it's definitely getting better but I just need to take the time to work in and out of the brace as things go so it doesn't go backwards again but I'm I thought I would um, just record this because um, I don't know if you all knew about Millie Marotta's um, I think it was Brilliant Beasts um, coloring book competition um, <laughs> this was hosted by Millie Marotta and I was surprised because I actually won and as a result I um, have had pavilion books follow me on Instagram which was a mighty surprise and I really really appreciated it so much um, so thank you so much to pavilion books obviously I love Millie Marotta's work as you all know and I love coloring it and the small details and everything like that so I'm so excited to have that um, yeah obviously I'm do able to do this on my mobile because my hand is good enough at this point to be able to do this and I'm so excited because it's looking like soon I'll be able to start doing some of my art and coloring and editing stuff again with in, with short spaces of time and then breaks and stuff like that till I can work up again with it and I'm so excited about that um, you've noticed a lot of book things recently just because of the fact that basically it's what's been easy for me to do with a bung hand and wrist and ankles and blah 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 so <laughs> if you looked at my last book one you would have seen a video of my foot in the boot as you'll notice currently I'm obviously ready for bed but it's all bandaged up it's not overly swollen at the minute but it hasn't been good and as I said I'm seeing my surgeon on the 23rd about this one and hoping I'll be able to get on with surgery for that one and get it done so that then I can sort of get more of my life back as well um be able to do even more things than I currently can hopefully obviously there'll be a recovery time and blah 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 but it'll be worth it if I can get it um better with the um better a lot better like the right ankle even if it's not fully 100% but as you'll notice well this one's about eight months out now so it's not really ugly or anything but you can still see a little bit of my scar there from that surgery <laughs> but yeah so I'm sort of excited to get going on that and get that done but yeah I thought since this is coloring and art related I thought I would just share my um Millie Marotta prize for winning um with my dormouse image that I did I was surprised that I won because I didn't feel it was up to my usual standards because I did it with a bung hand and stuff like that so I, I was most happy and surprised about that so um what I, first thing that I've got here is Milo Marotta's Tropical Wonderland 50 post coloring in postcard set and obviously the heat has affected this one um, with the glue holding them up with Australia's heat currently I did um, look at this I do also have the Animal Kingdom one but I haven't used these yet I just looked to see if it did flip down or not and this one doesn't so obviously just the glue hasn't held up and stuff but I'm not too concerned because well I won it for one thing and I greatly appreciate that and yeah I'm just happy to have it um, I can always find a way to glue it back down myself as well so yeah I'm not really concerned about that but you notice here, I did do one tester out of this box um, with this thing. Um, but I'm considering um, maybe with time, if I can get the time and stuff, to use some of these colouring postcards to colour and send off to subscribers just with a little thank you for following me note or that sort of thing. Um, it's just something that I've been thinking I would like to do for those of you who have been supporting me with my ankles and saying my health is more important get better 
all of that sort of stuff. So maybe even after my next surgery, I might be able to color some of these after my next surgery um, ready and then be able to find out <laughs> about sending some out to some of you. Um, so I've probably got about 99 there, plus I've got another <laughs> book of these and some of these I've actually gotten to review. So, and some I've won from another Millie Marotta coloring competition, I think it was. But yeah, so um, I was thinking, because I don't really have much of a use for them, but I want to use them. So I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe some of my subscribers would cherish or find it nice to receive a little thank you postcard from me that's hand colored by me. Um, all of that. I would, I would love to do that. And I'm, th I'm hoping I'll have time to work on starting to color some of these over time. Um, I definitely want to, and I would love to do that. Uh, just to show my appreciation because I actually don't have the funds to do giveaways or any of that just because, well, yeah, I don't have a job and I've got all my injuries and my health stuff, as you all understand. So, yeah, I was thinking that might be a nice way to be able to say thank you and do that. If you would be interested in seeing that, please leave a comment because, yeah, it's just something that I was thinking that, would be nice to do and like to do and I might be able to hand color some of these because they're small and less awkward and I don't have to do them on camera after my surgery so and then I can look into sending some out to some of you with a nice little thank you note because yeah I really appreciate you I appreciate your support I appreciate you staying around when I'm injured and having health issues I know it seems like a lot of excuses at times but really I'm not making excuses about it. It is, and it's so frustrating to me. So, yeah, this is a way that I thought, well, I could possibly, yeah, just send something out nice to you all, and it gives me something else that I can do after my surgery that I don't have to worry about recording or whatever. I do have some um, videos pre-recorded. I've just got to edit them. And I'm hoping now my hand's getting a lot better, I'll be able to get to that as well with colouring videos. And I'm so excited about that. And I'll be also excited about, shall we say, getting back to slowly starting on some colouring and stuff too. It's, uh, I'm just, I'm feeling so much happier because at least the right ankle's improving, my hand and wrist is improving, which means I'll be able to do more things. And... I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to get the surgery on this one and as a result that might mean that I'm able to do more things like that like walking lily and stuff like that again which I really want to do and so I'm really excited about it like there's a little bit of nerves about the next surgery but I'm so excited too but yeah um, please let me know if you would be interested in receiving a little postcard from me <laughs> at all after this. Um, it would be nice to sort of know, have some ideas. Obviously, I would probably try colouring as many as I can, but there'd be about, what is it? I'm not sure which one I attempted to do one out of. I think it might have been... I think it might have been this box, but I'm not sure. But either way, I'll have at least 129 little postcards so yeah it was just something I thought that it might be nice to do obviously I won't get all 129 colored after my surgery but yeah it's something I would like to work on if I got the chance and if you would like to receive a little colored postcard or something from me because obviously postcards wouldn't cost too much to send in a little envelope so yeah, it would just be something I would like to do. And obviously, if it didn't arrive, you could let me know and I'd aim to resend one. So, next thing I've got here that I received, and I was so excited for this, and I'm looking forward to obviously using these on my channel in a colour along or something like that, or to do something with them in art related, because you know I'm starting to do my own art stuff as well now. So, is that. Gold Faber Aqua gift set. So obviously this is a watercolour set of pencils from Faber Castell. And yeah, I'm just 
so happy about this. This is what the inside looks like. Obviously they aren't light fast, so they're just something that I would use in my colouring books kind of thing, but I would like to get, if I was ever able to, I would love to get the Faber-Castell Aquarelle pencils, I think it is, with their light fast capabilities, so that I can do a mixes of watercolour base and then coloured pencils on top, because I would love to experiment with something like that. So it's definitely a goal for the future. <laughs> but yeah, this pack is awesome. So I can get it out to show you. It came with a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner, which I'll definitely use. 0 0.5 in the F um, one. I'm not going to be able to get it open, but I think it's like a ballpoint pen one but obviously I will use this because you probably noticed with some of my art pieces or a piece that no it's a piece that I've got upcoming you'll see how I layer this over black pencil to create a properly pitch black background and they are waterproof um, light fast all of that so yeah amazing to have so excited to have that Um, obviously we've also got a set of 12 Gold Faber pencils and a Faber-Castell 2B pencil. we got a little paintbrush here, which this one isn't as fine as some of the ones that I've got, but I'm sure it'll be awesome to have, um, because it'll be nice to have a bit of a thicker paintbrush anyway to use for more of the wider space or bigger space areas. We also got, um... Graphite pencil, dust eraser, and a Faber Castell sharpener. So awesome! So I've I've got another um, pencil sharpener now, and as you all know, I don't tend to go for overly expensive pencil sharpeners, but I'm sure this one will be good, being from Faber Castell. And then underneath, all of this sort of lifts up a bit. And underneath, I don't know if you can see that, we've got a little small A5 20 sheet watercolour pad. So, yes. <laughs> so I'm most excited about um, this set. And yeah, I hope, I'm really looking forward to using some of these, obviously, in a future colouring video. Obviously, that'll be once I'm able to do more things with my hand and wrist and stuff as it keeps improving but yeah I'm definitely loving doing some of my own art and and the coloring books and all of that none of that's going anywhere obviously but yeah I definitely intend on um I'm hoping to eventually set up a patreon page to um show you some tutorials and color alongs for my own art pieces but as I've said previously any of the adult coloring books, any of that stuff will be staying on my channel. And if you really can't join Patreon or something, then, um, yeah, I'm willing to take that into account and I might even do some private uploads of those tutorials if till you're able to join Patreon or something like that for my own pieces if you really want to color that. Or you can just um, private message me or something on my Facebook page or any of that just basically I want to give everyone the opportunity to if they want to till they can do it to be able to color along with me with my own images as well obviously um, as you've probably noticed with my YouTube page I've just been offering just just a video showing it as I do it not showing how I'm the pencil colors or any of that that is because I was intending to put it up on patreon things like that so um, I'm still consider um, I've still got to do the voiceover for the one that I was going to give the PDF slash tutorial for um, for free just as a thank you for <laughs> for the times when I've just gone off the grid doing something for a competition or stuff like that. But, yeah, so um, I am keeping in mind for those people who actually can't afford to, even if it is a small amount, who can't afford to do a P 
Patreon thing or whatever. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. And obviously I will do my best to help those people out to be able to do that. So it might even mean that I've got unlisted copies of the tutorials and people can message me on Facebook or something. And if you really can't afford to do it, because I understand what that's like myself with my situation, if you really can't afford to do that, obviously I would take that into account and I might even make... Um, like a list or unlisted video on YouTube that I upload and I keep unlisted and if someone contacts me because I really can't do it this month or something like that, then I can still send them the part or stuff like that because I want to still make things as accessible as possible but I also want to, if possible, try and go somewhere with my art but still allow people who enjoy my art and enjoy following along with my art and the pieces to be able to do that and have access to those things. So I'm definitely not going to be ruling out people if they want to be able to colour along with one of my art pieces or something like that and they just can't afford Patreon right now because they're going through hard times or whatever. I'm definitely not going to go, oh, bad luck, you can't get the piece or anything like that because that is not who I am. I would still help you out and offer that opportunity to still be able to do it for those who aren't able to do that currently or aren't able to subscribe to a Patreon. But obviously I've still got to do more research into that and I want to get more of my own pieces ahead and recorded and stuff like that ready for when I am able to do that. But obviously... As you all know, I've got to get through my next surgery and get this hand probably better and stuff to be able to work on more of those things. But it's definitely in the goal, in the aims, and i just like to let you know about that. So now I'm going to come to Millie Marotta's Brilliant Beast, and I'm just going to do a quick bit of a flip through of this book. So this is um, illustrations from her previous colouring books. And it's got this beautiful greeny colour inside. So I don't know if you can see this. It's written in gold. It says, Dear Rebecca, congratulations. Thank you for your beautiful colouring. Millie X. So, yeah, I was so excited to receive this. And, yeah, obviously I'm looking forward to colouring in it and stuff like that. So we got our usual introduction. And then these images are images from... Her past books, so we got like sloths and rhinos and I'm obviously very happy to have it because <laughs> I love my, as you all know, how much I love my art and my colouring and just pencils and all of that. It's just, it's a big thing for me in my life and that was why I was so upset when my hand and stuff got hurt and I kept trying to push through it and push through it and push through it and really now... I probably shouldn't have but at the same time the brace my orthopedic surgeon wanted me to get was the thing that actually allowed it to get better in the end so in some ways it it was a good thing that I did that it even though it went for so long it was a good thing that I was able to go to her and get um this wrist to elbow brace because now at least my hand and wrist is nearly better and I'll be able to get back to all these things. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I, I really adore Millie's pieces because I just, I love the details and the fine art. And I've had, I've had a lot of you tell me just how intimidating you find Millie's pieces because of the small details and the features and all of that in it. So I really hope that I'm helping you out with um, feeling less intimidated with Millie's pieces because me, the more the more intricate and complex, the better for me. <laughs> so I'm completely the opposite. I, I love the challenge of these small spaces and small pieces. So, yeah, I really hope I'm helping you to feel less intimidated by Millie's pieces by doing them because, yeah, I love them a lot. So there's some pieces from Wild Savannah in here too, which I do have um, some new pieces coming up. One of those is from um, Wild Savannah. And hang on, excuse the footsie. We do what we can when we've got one hand. 
And I'm not going to be able to probably turn the page here, am I? If you keep getting glimpses of all the books in the background, that's because I've got a, a heap of books and not enough bookshelves. And I'm just recording this in my bedroom where I keep them all because it's dark. Or a lot of them anyway. But yeah, so... Yeah. But yeah, I love my art so much and I love doing YouTube and stuff. But as I said also, I think on a video that hasn't been posted yet, I did say this on my Facebook, but basically... I'm sorry if my hand will get in the way in the future, but basically I need to go back to trying to do it in a way that I'm not going to injure myself again because I injure so easily and my orthopedic surgeon has basically said that she will allow me to keep doing my art if I promised not to keep doing it the way that I was to try and keep my hand out of the frame and so you could see what I was doing and that as long as I went back to doing it how I previously was so that I wouldn't injure myself so much and all of that. So um, basically I'm, I'm under surgeon's orders to do things how I used to do it but it may mean my hand may get in the way a bit. Um, so I am sorry about that but at the same time as my surgeon said, it could mean the difference between me only being able to do my art for a short time or being able to do my art for a long time. And I would rather be able to do my art and YouTube channel and stuff for a long time because it really does mean so much to me and is something that I love doing in my life. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll all understand anyway because, <laughs> yeah, I want to keep doing this for a long time to come really do but yeah that's what's that's what's important to me is to be able to keep doing this for a long time to come so I'm sorry I'm just trying to get the page to flip Mix. But yeah, I'm so excited now because my hand and wrist is improving and it's looking like I'm going to be able to get back to it all and I'm so excited. This was the image that um, I did. I think I did it with only nine, col nine pencil colours <laughs> and yeah, I was, I really felt it wasn't quite up to my usual standard because of my hand and wrist being so sore and painful and stuff but I was surprised because I actually was one of the 10 winners of the <laughs> the competition so it was like oh wow and I was surprised and very happy and yeah it was it was awesome so yeah, it really meant a lot. I'd actually forgotten all about that I entered because I really thought, oh, I'm not going to stand a chance this time. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's like I'm tagged by Millie on her page and it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> so it was a, a mighty surprise to me, but a very nice surprise too. So, yeah, I was very happy. I hope I'm not accidentally skipping any images either, but it's not deliberate if I do. Sorry if this is shaking a little bit with my phone recording it as well. Yeah, I really love Millie's books. 
I love Joanna's as well. And yeah, I love all the ones that I get, but you've probably noticed I tend to mostly buy books that are either very intricate in, deta in details or I tend to add more details as I do the image. <laughs> I can't resist. I just have to make them intricate. Yeah, I just, I love my art and my reading and that so much. It's my favourite things to do. <laughs> favourite things in the world. And yeah, as I've said many times, I would really love to make a career out of all of this. Because it gives you variation, something different, something new. Every day is a little different. You get to do something fun and... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's, I guess it's just what I've realised that I'm meant to do with my life and what I want to do with my life. It is. And it's a great thing. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to give you the best view I can while doing this one-handed. I probably should have set up my camera, but it's kind of hard for me to set up my camera and stuff with my hand and wrist too, so. I just thought I would quickly do it via my phone. I'm trying to do this I'm not sure if I'm going to run out of time or not if the video so I hope I'm not speeding through too fast Ooh, lionfish. Nudie branches. Basically sea slugs. Camels. Or some type of camel. Ooh, giant bug. Hehe. <laughs> I still love Millie's images so much. Ooh, sharkies. You could definitely add some things into that one as well. And then it looks like we've got a list of the different beasts in there. Going by the pages they're on. Bit of space to create your own image if you want to. And yeah, the back of our book. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this anyway. I just thought I would um, show you my little thing that I won and mention about that I was interested in using um, these colouring postcards in order to oops it's falling all over the place excuse that silly pillows but yeah I thought it would be nice to use these postcards to send some of you out a little coloured thank you note um, because obviously that won't cost too much to 
send being a letter kind of thing. Obviously, I'd put it in an envelope. But yeah, so if you're interested in that, please let me know. I really hope you've enjoyed this colouring book uh, flip through slash, I guess, um, showing you what I received. Um, and yeah, um, I will see you next time. Please leave a comment if you have anything you want to say or if you would be interested in that. If I did send out some postcards, I'm hope thinking that these would be a good thing for me to colour after my surgery now. And yeah, so I'm obviously, yeah, thought, well, since I don't have many people to send them out to, I thought, well, for all of you that have supported me and hung, stuck around whilst I've been crook and sick and injured and blah 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 I just thought it would be a nice thing to send out something like that with a nice little note on it to say thank you for your support and stuff so please let me know if it's something you would be interested in I've got about 129 I think as I said of these postcards so I've got about 129 I can send to people at least but yeah something that gives me an activity to do after my surgery and also something fun to do and yeah I just thought I would do a bit of a colouring um, flip through and stuff like that since it's been so much reading books and my other love as you know is reading but <laughs> yeah I thought I would do something a bit colouring related because I'm so looking forward to getting back to it now thanks to this is getting a lot better so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, I will see you later. Bye!